And she is far from alone. 73% of millennials currently own a pet, according to the American Pet Products Association. That's more than any other demographic. And a whopping 89% of millennials who've bought homes so far this year own a pet, according to Realtor.com. That has millennials putting their pets' needs front and center in real estate decisions. 79% of pet-owning home buyers who closed the... Man, oh man, I'm sorry, but I love pets. But one reason why millennials are so broke is because of the pet. And I'll tell you why. So if you're buying a house, you deserve a pet. You should definitely get a pet. So if you're in an area where you can afford real estate, go get a pet. You deserve it, especially if you're not wanting to have kids because pets are way cheaper than kids. But long term, that may not be as great of an investment depending on, you know, your kid could be the next, uh, I don't want to say Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> but so my issue here on uh, just a message kind of is instead of buying a pet, especially if you're a renter, you don't own any assets. Why are you not buying, if not crypto, real uh, sorry stocks or bonds why you know why are you not getting on robin hood because a pet is going to easily cost you 300 500 some people a thousand dollars a month and uh i know a pet's great and i know that there's a lot of things a pet gives you but um don't you want to have a nice house for your pet to live in do you don't you want to be financially responsible if something bad happens to you you will have to either give away your pet or i don't know and that's the biggest problem I want to bring up to everyone who is watching this channel is that pets are okay, but if you don't have a net worth of, you know, having a house or at least, you know, I'm going to just put a number out there, 10,000 US dollars. So if your net worth is under 10,000, why do you own a pet? And unfortunately, like I said, I'm, I'm a landlord, so I used to rent rooms and I got so many people renting $600 rooms, $700 rooms, living paycheck to paycheck with a pet. And I mean, like I said, there's other stuff they had too is why they're living paycheck to paycheck. But the whole pet thing, it's great. It should be something you reward yourself when, you know, you finally have over $10,000 of cryptocurrency or $10,000 of stocks or you're buying a house, you know, then go get your pet. That's great. But if you're not in a great financial position, the pet has to wait. It's kind of like having kids, but once again, people probably do this. But it's like having kids before you have a house or I don't know. So like I said, I know pets have a gr lot of benefits, but at the, at the end of the day, it is a giant money sink and that could be invested in other things. And then you can get your pet and give your pet the greatest lifestyle that you want to give it when you're financially secure. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.